Aya. I checked out Mortal Kombat Legends Snowblind. It was directed by Rick Morales and is the third animation in the Legend series. The animation in this joint was just as good as it was in the first two films, except I think this one was just a bit more bloody and graphic than those films were. Also, the fatalities were hella brutal and extremely detailed, especially Kano's. The film provides an origin story for Kenshi Takahashi, who made his debut in the game Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. In the film, Earthrealm has turned into a wasteland by a revenant plague and wars. Kano is the leader of a murderous group called the Black Dragon, whose powerful enforcers include the Soul Snatcher, Shang Tsung. The Black Dragon take over towns by force and make survivors pledge allegiance to Kano. Kenshi, a skilled fighter, steps to the enforcers to stop the madness, but initially he's defeated, then deceived by Shang Tsung, which costs him his eyesight, but he finds a mystical sword in the process that allows him to regain his vision. He then turns to Kwai Liang, aka Sub-Zero, who trains him to use his other senses to become a skilled blind swordsman to take down Kano and his goons. The film had an intense opening scene that set its bloodthirsty tone. Overall, it was action-packed, and the fight sequences were graphic and well put together. Also, the wasteland setting and the way Kano ran his empire gave off Mad Max vibes. There was no actual Mortal Kombat tournament of fighters in this flick, but the Black Dragon had a deadly roster of enforcers that Ken Shi and Kwai Liang had to fight. Kano was their king, and he had a dope new design. He was a powerful cyborg who savagely offed just about everyone that stepped to him. He also had a good sense of humor. My favorite character has got to be Tremor though, who was also an enforcer for the Black Dragon. Tremor's design and abilities were a lot more intimidating and powerful than in the video games. He had both rock and fire elemental abilities that were amazing to see in action. Also, Kenshi's abilities with his sword were cool too, especially the way his vision looked during battle while he was equipped with his sword. I enjoyed the film's story. It was filled with twists, surprises, and Kano was a dope villain. The film really proved that Mortal Kombat has a roster of deadly fighters with interesting backstories other than Liu Kang that can star in films. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it for mics. Let me know what y'all thought about Mortal Kombat Legends Snowblind in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure that you like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me by hitting that like and subscribe button and I'm gonna get up with y'all in the next video, all right? I'll let me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.